Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and today's Piggy Award goes to the California National Guard and Pentagon in general. Thousands of California soldiers forced to repay enlistment bonuses a decade after going to war. Now, here's what happened. Apparently, they were really short of uh, recruits. So what they did is they paid a bunch of very big enlistment bonuses to soldiers. And they now claim that they weren't supposed to do that. So, and as we'll see in the article, somebody did go to prison over that. There's an old song, uh, you can find that on YouTube. Indian giver, Indian giver. Anyway, uh, shorter troops fight in Iraq and Afghanistan a decade ago. California National Guard enticed thousands of soldiers with bonuses of $15,000 or more to re enlist and go to war. Now the Pentagon is demanding the money back. The only 10,000 soldiers, many of whom served multiple combat tours, have been ordered to repay large enlistment bonuses and slapped with interest charges, wage garnishment, and tax liens if they refuse. After audits revealed widespread overpayments by the California Guard at the height of the war's last dec decade. Investigations have determined that lack of oversight, love, or widespread fraud and mismanagement by California Guard officials under pressure meet enlistment targets. So why don't you, like, why don't you garnish their pay? You know, why do you have to screw over our so soldiers, you assholes? The soldier, soldier say the military has been nagging on 10 year old agreements and Imposing severe financial hardship on veterans is only a mistake was to accept bonuses, bonuses offered when the Pentagon needed to fill the rank. Those bonuses were used to keep people in, said Christopher Van Meter, 42 year old former Army captain and Iraq volunteer from Manteca, California, says he refinanced his home mortgage, paid $25,000 in re enlistment bonuses. And twenty one thousand dollars in student loan repayment that Army says he should not have received. People like me just got screwed. I would say so. This is an outrage. In Iraq, Van Meter was thrown from an armored vehicle turret and later awarded the Purple Heart for his combat injuries after his vehicle detonated a buried roadside bomb. Susan Haley, a Los Angeles native, native and former Army Master Sergeant deployed in Afghanistan 2008, says she sent the Pentagon, Pentagon $650 a month, a quarter of her family's income, to pay down $20,500 in bonuses that the guard says were given to her improperly. Indian givers, Indian givers. I feel totally betrayed, said Haley, 47, served 26 years in the Army, along with husband and oldest son, the medic who lost a leg in combat in Afghanistan. This is how they repay our soldiers! Throw these bastards out of office! All the ones who are on the... Anything like a... Oversight committee or anything, throw them bastards out! Haley, who now lives in Kemper, Texas, 
Where's they may have to sell their house and repay their bonus. They'll get money, their money, but I want those years back, she said, referring to her sixth year in list. The problem offers a dark perspective on the Pentagon's use of hefty cash in summers to fill us all volunteer force during the longest year of warfare in the nation's system. Even Guard officials concede that taking back money from military veterans is distasteful. Oh, darn. That, I don't know. Then the day soldiers ended up paying the largest price that Major General Matthew Beavers, Deputy Commander of the California Guard. We'd be more than happy to absolve these people of their debts. We just can't do it. We'd be breaking the law. Fuck you. Facing an enlistment shortfalls and two major wars with no end in sight, Pentagon began offering most generous incentives in its history to retain soldiers in the mid 2000s. Also began paying money up front, like signing bonuses that some businesses pay in the civilian sector. It was a real sea change to see how business was done, said Colonel Michael S. Yeah. He is only the California Guard official in Sacramento who oversaw the audit. This system paid everyone up front, and then we spent the next five years figuring out if they were eligible. That's unbelievable. Bonuses were supposed to be women and soldiers in high demand assignments like Intel and Civil Affairs as the non commission officers badly needed in units to the employee in Iraq and Afghanistan. National Guard Bureau, the Pentagon agency that oversees state guard organizations, has announced that bonus overpayments occurred in every state and the height of the two wars. But the money was handed out more liberally in the California Guard, which has about 17,000 soldiers and is one of the largest state guard organizations. In 2010, after reports surfaced of improper payments, the federal investigation found that thousands of bonuses, bonuses and student loan payments were given to California National Guard soldiers who did not qualify for them or were approved despite ter- paperwork errors. Army Master Sergeant Tony Jaffe, the California Guard's incentive manager, pled guilty to, in 2011, the filing false claims of $15.2 million and was sentenced to 30 months in federal prison. Three officers also pled guilty to fraud and were put on probation after paying restitution. So, they're fucking over our soldiers here uh, because they don't know how to keep their books. Screw that! I'm hoping if Trump gets elected, he'll... Uh, Putting into crap like this. You can't penalize the goddamn sol- the soldiers. These goddamn assholes, they sit behind their fucking desks and they work on computers and write paperwork and they go to parties. While well, these people are out in the field risking their lives and this is how they get treated! If you're not angry about this, I don't know what will anger you. They fucking tricked them, face it. They tricked these soldiers into a re-enlisting, and then they want the money back. This is reprehensible. I'm going to scream myself hoarse if I keep going. If you're not angry, I don't know what will get you angry. Alright? This is bullshit. A major piggy award goes out to the California National Guard and the Guard Bureau and all that. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.